All right, what's going on everyone? So we've got a customer that came in for a gauge face replacement. Now, as opposed to the last video I made, these are the replacements, not the sticker. So this will replace the actual face of your cluster, uh, thus giving better light, better quality, and not having any bubbles. So we have um, quite a few people who wanted to have something of higher quality, so here it is. So the install is the same. I'm gonna just breeze through it because you already know we're going to take the torque screw, um, torque bit, sorry, and otherwise known as a star. Two bolts up top, we're going to quickly remove it. Just like that, two screws out. Now this piece will just pop out. You can extend your steering wheel out and then just remove this. There is one cable in the back. You should be able to see right there. And all you're going to do is push this down, move this lever down, like so and this will pop out. All right, now that it's out, we're gonna go inside real quick and let's go ahead and install this. All right, so from here, uh, all we got are these tamper tapes. So you'll see that they're sealed and what you're gonna end up doing is you're gonna cut this to bring this out, but know that they do this for a reason. It'll avoid any warranty. Just know we're not liable for anything like that. Uh, we wanna make sure that you're clear on this being removed and cut so that you can take the face open and modify it. You're going to take out some of these small bolts that hold them in. All right, now the bolts are off, we're going to just try and take off each of these tabs. That way you can remove the face from the rest of the cluster. So once you do that, carefully just remove the face off, sorry, the cover off from the top, and you are exposed with just the cluster. Uh, be careful because the unit will come out from the bottom, so we want to keep it all together. Try not to tamper with too much of the stuff here. And with some spoons, what we're going to do is we're going to take off each of the needles. I prefer metal spoons. I didn't have any on hand, so we're going to use some plastic ones here. Just make sure they don't break or bend. Now the key is, with the most precision, carefully lift up these dials straight up without turning them, torquing them, and especially not going backwards. So we're going to start with the big ones, move our way to the small ones. Just like that, those will come out. Keep a note, keep a note that uh, if you want to have red needles, now is a good time to go ahead and paint these red. You can do like it with a red Sharpie. Um, you can just go ahead and paint them so that uh, it kind of gives you the M3 look. But cheap mod you can do while you, can do, uh, while you have those out. So the trick to getting these out is just peeling them off. And then we're going to just replace them with this. Like so. Uh, there's really no trick to it. Just be careful. Just peel it off completely. Try and take any ad extra adhesive off that you can, but just be careful not to, again, move anything. You're just gonna go ahead and peel off whatever you can, like so, and then try and just scrape off some of the extra so it can adhere. Do the same for the other side. And then um, insulation is pretty simple. You just go ahead and replace everything just the way it was before. Just make sure all the holes line up and we're good. These are pre-adhesive so they will already stick so you don't have to add glue. There you go, nice and centered. Just make sure you rub through real quick, get any bubbles out. Uh, there shouldn't be any big ones, but obviously we wanna make sure you lay them down flat. And then once you do that, all we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and plug it in the car, turn the ignition on, not turn the engine on, but quickly turn the ignition on for a few seconds. And then that way it'll calibrate everything back to zero so that we can put the needles back into zero, reassemble everything, done.
All right, so I went ahead and recalibrated everything. Like I said, just plug in the key and they are good. Just make sure you turn the ignition quickly on. You'll hear the noise, everything will light up, turn it back off. And then we're gonna go ahead and reassemble it. So put the needles back directly at the zero position. I usually like to start with the small ones. And just like that, those are done. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and reverse everything, put everything back together. And that is it. We're gonna go ahead and plug it in and we're done. All right, put this back in. You hear the clip. You should hear the motor turn. sit right there all right so all we're gonna do is we're gonna put the screws back in and we are set and just like that we're done we're gonna go ahead and put in the key and there you go and the greatest thing is like I said the light shines through any logos anything that you have will all come through pretty nicely when they're off, they're off. When they're on, they're on. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions, put them in the comment below. Hit that subscribe button. We're gonna go ahead and make more content regularly now that we're in the groove at the shop. We'll have some more installs. We'll have some cool things coming up. Stay tuned. We appreciate it. See you guys next time.